Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm just gonna be doing a quick like little unboxing and review of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Uh, that's like the really big one. Um, and the reason I got the really big one is because it has a 5X zoom instead of a 3X zoom, uh, which I think will come in handy quite a bit of the time, uh, you know, being a, a photographer. So this review is pretty much just gonna be like a specifically photography based review. The only reason I bought this this phone is because I really wanted to compare it to some of my DSLRs and just see how it handles compared to those types of cameras. First off, we're just gonna get into the unboxing of this iPhone. I pretty much just wanted to film this section because I think unboxing videos are kind of interesting. And so, yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into it. I have my GoPro mounted up here. That's where this little black thing is. So yeah, let's just get into it. Like any phone, you know, they're gonna have the tabs. So we're just gonna take those off. Super easy to take off. and then and it should just slip on out. Now, look at that freaking thing. I have never had a phone quite this big. I currently have the iPhone 11, so this is a lot bigger. As you can see, it's got the new uh, little control button that you can kind of set to be whatever you want it to be, which is super cool. And then obviously this is supposed to be titanium um, around here and then around the lenses too. Looking at it right now, the lenses are huge compared to my current phone camera, so that's kind of exciting. It's a really pretty looking phone. Um, but so we're just gonna take this off and boom. That's pretty much it. So super nice clean screen. I really, really like how it feels personally. Like it feels really, really good and feels really firm. You know, this is a super expensive phone. So hopefully, <laughs> you know, hopefully it, it lives up to the hype. Um, next, uh, we've got the USB-C to USB-C cables. Apple switched everything up with that. So instead of charging it with an Apple cable now, you charge it with a USB-C cable, which is, pretty exciting because honestly, Apple probably should have been doing this the whole time. The USB-C to USB-C cables are way more efficient than the Apple charging cables. So, you know, it's, it's actually kind of exciting to see them change to this. I personally don't care whether it's an Apple cable or one of these, but so yeah, it's definitely an upgrade as far as like how fast these will be able to charge. So, yep, you get a cable and then obviously you get your little stickers and you know, how to set up sort of guide. And that's pretty much it. Pretty much exactly what I was expecting. But yeah, the phone feels very, very sturdy and I'm very excited to test it. See how it does in uh, similar conditions as what like I would typically be shooting in as a photographer. So it will be very interesting to see just exactly how it performs in all these different conditions, whether it's snow or rain or, you know, just kind of all weather. So I'm gonna turn this thing on. I'm gonna get it all set up for my number and my phone and everything. And then we're gonna go out and we're going to do some shooting and do some uh, comparison shots between this and a DSLR. So anyways, with that, I will see you guys saying hello but i'm saying bye <laughs> i will be back with a follow-up here soon peace